St. Anthony's Hospital in Summit County. We have a lot of very active individuals. Candy Elkin says researchers and doctors have just started a high altitude research center. It's anything above 7,000 feet. And a first of its kind study to see how living above 7,500 feet impacts the body of people who have only lived at that elevation for a few generations. We are the youngest population um, in looking at how high altitude affects your quality of life. And researchers are looking for people to take part in that study. We are looking for participants that are 18 years or older. Um, again, living within Summit County six months or longer. And this study can all be done from someone's home, all while seeing how high elevation impacts a person's sleep, the amount of oxygen they're getting, even high blood pressure. Been here, I'm not sleeping well, or I'm having some breathing issues, or my heart rate is a little bit higher, or um, maybe my, my mental health might be um, affected. So, you know, just trying to understand how that all affects. The hope is that by understanding altitude and its effects on the body, Doctors can come up with better treatments, including for people who are visiting and suffering from altitude sickness. Knowing kind of the outcomes of this can maybe better prepare, prepare individuals. And Candy says that will help people live better lives at higher elevations. It's those external factors that you might not know what your body doesn't know until you're here. So many people impacted by the effects of high altitude. Right now, that study is underway. They're looking for about 3,000 participants. They say they got about 700, a lot of people above 40, so they're really looking at folks between 18 and 38, although if you want to participate, if you live above 7,500 feet and have done so for more than six months, they're looking for people to partake in this study. It's pretty easy. You just go to the High Altitude Research Center website, and uh, you just look for the little icon that says participate in the study, and then you fill out a form that takes about 15 minutes and Erica it all better uh, helps people with better living and better science and hopefully deal with the effects of high elevation. It's so interesting Matt you think about all the people that come into town and then they go to the mountains to ski and maybe this will help their impacts with altitude sicknesses and other and, and adjusting. You're right, millions of people from all over the world come to Colorado to ski a lot of low elevations with a lot of folks from Florida uh, as well and Arizona. And so, yeah, a lot of folks impacted by high altitude. And so if this can help them or at least help with treatments to turn people around a little bit quicker, certainly worth it. Really cool, Matt. Thank you so much.